My name is Ingrid Brofman and I'm an intern at the Mississippi Sandhill Crane National Wildlife Refuge in Gautier, Mississippi. Um, so I'm participating in bird surveys that are being done by NERDA, um, conducted from Florida to Texas, and I'm doing surveys on the Gulf Coast of Mississippi. And so we go to one island per day and we do two to three transects per day. So a transect is a predetermined distance that you walk in a survey system. And so what we're doing on the beach is looking for any oil and oiled birds and oiled wildlife. We survey how much oil is there, what kind of oil, what state it's in, and then we're also looking for oiled birds that are flying and also dead birds, um, either from the oil or another cause. And they're doing these surveys all over the Gulf Coast so we can assess the damage from the recent oil spill. So NERDA is the Natural Resource Damage and Restoration Program, and the goal is to restore natural resources that have been contaminated at no cost to the American people. And the Fish and Wildlife Service is one of the trustees of this program. So today we went to Cat Island, which is a barrier island off the coast of Biloxi, Mississippi. We've been going to Cat Island for the last couple weeks, um, and we have not seen any traces of oil, but unfortunately today we saw a large quantity of oil and tar patties on Cat Island. And they were probably covering 15% of the beaches. And we also found a dead laughing gull and a dead pelican. And we called in the oil that we found on the beach because it was the first time spotted. And we also called in the live birds so we can have teams come in and help clean up. For me, this is really important work that I'm able to be a part of because it assesses the damage from the oil spill so we can restore the Gulf Coast to what it was before the oil spill and so we can get species back to their numbers before the oil spill happened.